Okay, so we're getting slightly harder now. I know it's a bit sad because it's a little sheep. Um, I am going to draw a little sheep. <laughs> okay, so you've got a sheep. Um, I don't know if they have ears. They do have little legs. Like that. <laughs> Um, so you've got a fallen sheep. He's got a mass of 70. So I'm just going to put 70 inside. Okay. And he's experiencing air resistance of 300 newtons. So that's going to be going upwards. Okay. 300 newtons. Okay. So if he's going downwards, he's obviously falling down a hill or wherever he's fallen. He will have the weight of his body plus... The gravity pulling him down okay so it'd be 70 and then we call it g g representing the gravity gravity okay now i'm gonna make the acceleration be going downwards just because it says that he is falling okay so it means that he is going in a downward direction so we are still going to be using f equals ma so the force, you've got the weight of his body, so that's the 70 kilograms times by the gravity, okay? But you do have the air resistance, which is working against the sheep, okay? So that means the force is actually going to be reduced by the 300 newtons, which is the air resistance, okay? So we just take that away from the weight of his body. Then on this side, you've got the mass, that would be just 70. You don't include the gravity, it is just the weight of the sheep. And then we've got the A, which is what we're trying to work out. We want the acceleration, okay? So I'm just gonna type this into a calculator. So in mechanics, we use 9.8, okay? So 70 times 0.8 and we get that. And then we subtract the 300 Newtons from air resistance, which is 380. Six. Okay, and then again we just divide by 70 on both sides to work out what the acceleration is. So answer divided by 70. Okay, we don't get a particularly nice answer, but I'm just gonna run it to one decimal place. Obviously, if they say something differently, you can do that. Okay, so the acceleration is 5.5 ms to the minus two. 